What is up guys? So today I have a full day of eating to make you look your best, but to, in order for that to happen, you have to have that energy. You have to feel your best. If you usually, you know, a little tired in the morning, you know, you got to get that cup of coffee, you're sluggish. You know, I recommend these three books right here. Highly, highly recommend it. Definitely try guys, you know, stay in for the video because I also have a lot of meal examples today that are easy to make and it's going to help you, you know, achieve those goals without suffering too much. Uh, but definitely check out those books and follow the glucose goddess. It'll change your life, uh, especially, like I said, if you're a little sluggish, you know, throughout the day, you want to have your energy optimum. That way you see the results that you want to see. Uh, but anyways, enjoy the video. And if you are interested in, you know, having different meal examples, you know, throughout the day, I have a variety of different, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That way you could just pick. That way you don't have to think too much. You just decide friendly macros and tasty. Here you go. And now you have your breakfast. Alright, so first the uh, taste test. Let's see. We got the, the chef taster. How is it? Is it good? Yeah. Oh, let's go. You like it. It's really good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I spent about two weeks just, you know, researching the best protein uh, French toast. And I even had the kid test it. So, if, you know, if a kid likes it, they do not lie. If they like it, you will like it. So definitely give it a try. The macros are amazing. Uh, but before, you know, you even, you know, think about having French toast, let's talk about, you know, how to optimize your health in the morning. Uh, you know, just some tips from the book and from, you know, the glucose goddess is try having some vinegar with every single meal, especially in the morning. Uh, before having, you know, any sugar, try having some veggies with vinegar, and you could also add some eggs to that. Uh, that way, you are you don't have a whole bunch of just sugar, you know, uh, glucose running through your bloodstream, which is going to, you know, bring you up, but then it's going to give you a big major crash. So definitely try that out. So once you had your veggies, your eggs, and you know some vinegar you know you don't have to make it, the meal too big here's a recipe to make the french toast uh you know something that i figured out is just having 50 millimeters of milk nothing more and not too less just the fact that you want your protein you know to blend nice and easy uh, if you add too much then your bread is not going to soak everything up you know you can add two eggs or just one i'm just going to add one egg because i want to uh, cook this with butter butter makes it worth it guys if you want it you want the fresh toast for taste, you definitely have to add that butter. Uh, you know, cinnamon, uh, vanilla extract, and, you know, you just mix it as well as you possibly can. Uh, that way you don't have any chunks. You could dip the bread either in a flat plate or uh, on a bowl like I did it. Uh, it all depends on what you have. Uh, all you want to do is just make sure that it gets nice and soaked. And if you are cutting, you could also cut the edges of the bread if you want to save on calories uh the quality of the bread definitely matters because you don't want a very thin bread that just breaks down very easily uh, but you could definitely play around with that and see what works for you but the butter guys you could just take 50 calories of that butter and it's going to toast it and it's going to give you that buttery taste so worth it and the macros are still going to be you know uh, not too high just the fact that you're eating a lot of protein for your bang on this meal. And here is my latest uh, progress right now. Uh, same time last year, guys, you know, I, I got that metal thing off my arm and I was barely uh, able to move my fingers. Took a long time to get back to this. Uh, it's been a dog fight, man. It's been ups and downs and, you know, I still get pain here and there, uh, my shoulder and my wrist. But we pushing through, man, to, uh, to next year getting better. Uh, so hopefully you guys find some motivation in this, uh, help you push through whatever you're going through. Uh, just put the time, put the effort, and you will be rewarded. Uh, things just add up over time, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to make this winter count, try to stay injury-free, and, you know, just keep growing and give back on my grind. And hopefully you guys, you know, uh, do the same thing, just the fact that time be flying, man. It, it was, what, about... Maybe like uh, nine years ago was my, my last show. So just to put that in perspective, man, time is just going by so quickly that you can't even count to 10. 
All right, so now some cooking tips, guys. This is going to save you guys a lot, a lot of time. You know, uh, whether you're dieting or you're bulking, you know, try boiling your chicken in just water. Just the simple fact that if you start adding a whole bunch of oil in that pan, you have no idea how many calories you're eating yet, especially if you're not weighing the oil that you're putting in the pan. But this will save you a lot of calories. Uh, just the fact that if you start going crazy, man, adding a lot of crazy stuff, you are going to be overeating. And if your goal is to get lean, lose a couple pounds, this is going to make that a hundred times harder. Uh, so, you know, just boil it in water and then you can add, you know, some extra virgin olive oil on top. And if you do not like extra virgin olive oil, you could also try coconut oil, uh, whichever one you prefer, uh, but definitely healthy and it helps with inf inflammation and all that, all that stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, you get used to it over time, guys. If you really want the results, guys, you know, try it. Uh, it's also going to help, you know, uh, give you more energy. This is one of my uh, favorite post-workout meals, you know, uh, high carbs and high protein. And then I also have, you know, some uh, some vegetables. I like using kale and spinach in the rawest form. And then I add some, you know, extra virgin olive oil on it. And, you know, just a tablespoon of my chicken uh, close to it. And then a, li a, a little bit more than a tablespoon on my veggies that I mix it up with the apple cider vinegar. As far as like the apple cider vinegar, uh, try to get any one you like. Uh, make sure that it has no sugar on it because it's not supposed to have any sugar. Apple cider vinegar has no calories. Uh, but a lot of brands, you know, they try to add, you know, that flavor to make it easier uh, to taste. Uh, don't go for that. And, you know, just mix it all up, guys. And it's very delicious just the fact that uh, the taste it gives you, it gives you nice, uh, you know, a nice oil all around the veggies and, and the chicken. And you could feel free to add, you know, ketchup, uh, you know, some beans on top of your chicken or any other sauce that you like. Uh, you know, just be aware that it, that it does have calories. So depending on your goal, uh, accom accommodate for that. And here are the macros. Those are just some brown rice and chicken. Uh, as it gets later in the day, I like to stick to brown rice. Uh, you know, brown rice has more nutrients. And it's less likely to spike your insulin levels. So, you know, I, I go with that. And then I also ended up having, you know, just a snack. One scoop of whey protein, a little bit of milk, and, you know, some uh, uh, non-fat Greek yogurt. So good for the stomach. A little bit of blueberries that I had. Uh, and then just a little bit of honey and cinnamon for taste. You know, sometimes I usually skip the cinnamon and just eat it like that. Uh, but yeah, it's just a good snack, you know, just to end things up. Uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll put all the macros on the screen right there. And I'll talk to you guys next time. More videos like this to come. Hold on to the channel, man.